saw her face, at first you wouldn't believe how callous this poachers can act. First of all, they killed one of the smaller rhinos that's about three, four months old. And then they also, the one that they darted, uh, they left her probably thinking she's gonna bleed to death without no remorse. First, when, when we found this rhino, I was uh, quite excited. I thought she came into the bush to, to uh, calf it. But the moment when she, she went out of the bush, we found her and saw that her face was hacked and the horn was hacked off. It, it, I got, got very angry, it made me furious. Imagine, the killing of a little baby rhino like that, senseless. Poaching has uh, got to such high numbers, I think at this stage there's over 400 rhinos poached this year, which is probably about 100 more than were last year at this stage. And this is going to lead to extinction. Yeah, saving the survivors, the, the motto is we want to try and save every animal that we get to. And often we get confronted with trauma, um, situations that we've never experienced. We don't know if these animals will make it or not. And I think we have to give them a chance. Each and every single animal that we get to deserves a chance. And by doing all the blood tests we're doing, by doing all of the other ancillaries to try and make sure that they will survive, that is the best we can do. If we just went to all of these patients and euthanized them, there would be no hope. Uh, but by doing them, by making sure we keep them as comfortable as we can, by learning from them each and every individual, we will know how better to treat the next one. Uh, it's always a bit of a nerve-wracking business to dart animals that's injured like this, but uh, we'll see. At least we know she's in good hands from now onwards. As soon as she's down, I will do the local blocks. Okay. And I don't care how she is. And um, my student okay, will do the, do the okay, You must just tell me how you want it to lie and what you need. Okay, so we're just busy drawing up the local anesthetic agent. That as soon as she's down, we're going to inject into nerves. Uh, reduce any of the feeling that she might have um, under the sedation so that she's pain free when we work with her. Calcium alternate uh, material that we are using to cover the defect. It's a material that is antibacterial, but it is also stimulating granulation tissue. Made for humans. In South Africa, we only get the short ones. The company imported this specifically for, run, for rhinos. And there was quite a lot of stuff to use. We have been using it very successfully. Everything that we get, plus the anesthetic and so on, the cost of a treatment is probably somewhere between 30 and 40,000 rand. Just what we've done today. Yeah. All the products.
the way. And if all goes well, fortunately the wound starts contracting. So every time you work with it, it's a little bit smaller than it was yeah. the previous yeah. time. Um, I can't look at that. My heart is very, very sore. I would like to thank the Wilderness Foundation uh, for the reward that they've put out to, for the positive identification of the poachers and that can lead up to the arrest.